third umpire Gregory Brathwaite and couples of other groundsmen with the tip of their fingers pressed hard at a disheveled mound that had been flattened by the gargantuan Nakani roller. It seemed quite pudgy, like when you dip your hands into the pudding. Immediately came another groundsman with a blower hung on his back and began blowing it on the mode down surface. Their ploy was working and it was time to repeat the roller blower routine. But just as an over-eager groundsman had mounted on the roller, the skies opened up and he immediately dismounted it to help his fellow groundsman pull the tarpaulin over the surface. Earlier in the day the groundsman, armed with shovels and spades, dug up the soggy patches of the outfield, located in the northern corner of the field, exactly where the middle-kit fielder would have been stationed if the bowler was bowling from the media center end. It was the slushiest part of the ground slushy despite the sun-soaked, rainless Friday and they shoved it up so that the soil beneath could dry faster with a generous amount of sunshine. It was also fraught with high risk, because even a feeble spell of rain would spoil their plans. The opened-up spots will get soggier and it would be even more difficult to flatten it. Even a salubrious amount of sunshine wouldn't suffice to make it playable on the fourth day. An hour later, the umpires called off the day's play, snuffing out whatever little prospects of the result that lingered. Travel Kandran Ashwin's 200 has to wait. For at Coley's 3-0 dreams have gone with the rain. West Indies' hopes of bowing out of the series on a high have been put paid. It's another block in the guard of West Indies cricket board. In terms of scheduling the match in monsoon and not with adequate facilities to deal with weather web outfields, then it's not the first time an underprepared pitch or outfield has bought them shame. The most recent, and notorious, of those instances was in an Iowa seven years ago, when the first ever scheduled test in Sir Vivian Richard Stadium was abandoned due to an excessively sandy outfield after just one point for overs. Before that in 1998, the test between England and West Indies was called off after 10.1 overs in Sabina Park. The pitch then skipper Michael Atherton thought had more undulations than Epsom on Derby Day. Here, the venue was seen for Carnival early this year and supposedly the platforms erected on certain parts of the outfield had scrapped the surface and left deep dentures on it. The weather didn't help it either. In Trinidad, a monsoon peaks the months of July, August and September and generally they keep this window out for hosting international matches. In fact, this is the first time the Queen's Park Oval has hosted the test in August. Brief score, West Indies 62 for 2 Brathwaite 32 asterisk.